Hi guys and welcome back. This is not a Unity related tutorial. Well it is but it's not a tutorial regarding your game. It's a tutorial regarding normal maps. I'm sure you guys know what that is. If you're not familiar with it I'll tell you what it is. If you go into Unity and you see these cubes I have. If I click on them you can see it's casting shadows. And if I click on this and remove my normal map, you're going to see a drastic change where it's just going to be flat and it's going to look like it's casting no shadows at all. So once this stupid things get ready, okay, okay, and I'm going to put diffuse. You see all those extra shadings disappeared, you only get some shading um, from the sun. And what normal map does is it makes our image look bumpy and it catch, captures images, um, sorry, captures light and places it on the image. So if I click back on the object and go back on main texture and select bump diffuse, you can see the difference completely yourself right there. And this is reflected by light. So if I move my light around this, I'll make a new light actually, game object create other and um, point light and intensity is going to be quite large range massive okay if I move this about you can see it reflects lights like so and it casts shadows so beautiful it looks fantastic Now, for some people, I've been getting um, mails saying, do you know how to do this, normal maps? Well, I do in 3D packages, but it's really annoying. So I did find an easy way of doing this, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it and save you a lot of time as well. Okay, so what you do is, first of all, go to any of your 3D package, where you have, I have Maya, and I'm just going to create a new poly um, cube. It's gonna make a probably a brick wall or something. I don't know, probably anything. Just drag that up. Press six so I can see it. Click on this and click on create UVS and select cylindrical mapping. Drag this all around my object. Right click. Keep holding your right click in. Uh, highlight assign new material select Lambert uh, I want to apply an image to this and uh, that's gonna be next color this little checkered sign click on that and click on file and then select your image uh, my image is on desktop I have a brick wall image yeah okay that's my pretty nice and simple brick wall I'm not really going to bother fixing the textures, it's just a test sample. And as you can see, it's really flat. The bricks don't stand out. Let's just save this as Miocene or whatever you want to save it as. And I'm just going to call this Brick Wall. On my desktop, I'm going to close Maya, I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to open my Unity. And I'm going to drag brick walls into here. Let it just quickly update it. I'm going to pause the video until it does that. Okay, it's finished uploading my model. And if I can find it now, brick wall, there we go. Okay, I'm going to drag it onto the scene. Zoom into it, scale it up a bit. Right. As you can see, it's really plain and dull. It don't stand out. And we're going to solve that. We're going to make a normal map for this brick wall. Oh damn, I supplied one already. I'm going to remove that because I did this before. I'm going to put diffuse. As uh, you can see, that's the diffuse way. 
there's a complete difference. I'm just going to show you again. Watch this normal way. And watch the bump map one. Look at the difference. More details. Diffuse. Now I'm going to show you how to make your normal maps. Because some people find it really hard to make it in Photoshop and etc. And I found this really cool software called Crazy Bump. This is Crazy Bump people right here. I'm going to load it up. And this software is the lifesaver, that's all I can tell you right now. It saves you heaps of time and it's beautiful. It's the only software I know that gives you a real time view of your um, normal map. Because Maya's got plenty of these plugins which are really useless because when you do make the normal map, you have to press finished in order to see what it looks like. And then once you do, you have to undo it and do all those little details again and again. Whereas this software actually shows you it. Now in order to make a normal map, you first have to make sure that your brick wall texture is a grayscale image. So if you want to do that, you just take it into Photoshop and turn it into a grayscale image. And then once you've done that, <clears throat> click on this um, button right here where it says click and open. It's going to ask you for an image, a height map and a normal map. We really want to uh, apply an image, so click on image. Now on your desktop or wherever you save the image, look for it, the grayscale one and I named mine's brick wall grey, there we go. So it has no colour on it completely. Now what normal uh, crazy map does is it makes two images for you. Now it's asking me, hey what do you want, do you want your bricks popping in or do you want them popping out? Now in my case I want, I want my bricks popping out so I select this one here. And watch this, it generates a real time 3D view of your normal map. I mean, how cool is that? The right click, uh, the left click allows you to move it left and right like this, all around. And the right one controls the lighting. Shows you what it looks like in different light scenes. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. It saves you a lot of time and you can see what it looks like while you're making it. Now, if you want to add more details to this, You've got buttons on the side saying intensity, sharpness, noise removal, etc. Just boost them up or minus them down. See, I boost my setup uh, very top. It brings more details. Sharpness, I'm going to keep 57. Noise removal, 1. Shape, organization, 99. Fine details, I'm going to put max. As you can see, it picks all the little small, um, small rocks and bits and bobs. Fine detail as well. Put it to the max large detail max as well very large detail max as well as you can see it looks really beautiful it's picked up literally everything these little cement pieces here you can see them right there all of it's over here and then what you do is in order to save this you click on the save button and save as normal file and it's going to save on my desktop and it's going to put an underscore nrm at the end and you want to save that and close the normal map i'm um, sorry crazy bump go back into unity and you want to drag your um, normal map in here and once you have click on your brick wall from looking flat it's going to look 3d any second you want to go to the texture area where it says brick wall and the shader. You want to click on where it says diffuse and select bump diffused. And then apply your normal map on it. There you go. I mean, you can tell the complete difference. Look, look at that. The light reflects shadows on the wall now. And if I move it about, it's always going to give me different light. I mean, different shades. Like so, it makes the wall look 3D, but actually, in our, if we go up close, it's the same old thing, just a flat texture. It's all tricking us. And if you look at the back, I mean, look how 3D that looks from a distance. And believe me, this makes your game look a lot, a lot more better rather than having flat textures. And I suggest you guys go and download this software. It's not free, I'm afraid. It's got a trial version, but I'm not sure how long it is because they don't tell you. But eventually, if it runs out, I'm going to buy it because it's bloody awesome.
yeah and you can see the good results you get hope you like watching this tutorial and hope it answered the guys questions and yeah that's how you make normal maps thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed take it easy